Uh, this device um, is a, a Wi-Fi garage door opener and the user should add this device to EW Link app available on both uh, Android and iOS uh, in order to remotely control your garage door opener. First of all, you, you need to sure for installation that it is not your Wi-Fi is not 5G. So going to uh, setting and then connection. Now it is 5G. I change it to 2.4. Again, connection. Oh, scan it the Wi Fi. So I'm going to regular one. It is connected. I go to uh, EW link. Open the app. So it's ready to add the device. And then I open the box and then power up the device. You will see that the blinking of the LED one. There is three LED, one, two, and three. I will explain it about the three LEDs. First of all, you have to push and press and hold it until the the light blinking fast start blinking fast and you can see there is a corresponding blinking so you have to choose the first one and then next and then uh, you put your Wi-Fi name and Wi-Fi password and then next, you start to uh, pairing device. Wait for uh, two or three minutes. Sometimes it takes uh, one minute, but you need to close to uh, your Wi-Fi router. Uh, put a name, garage. and complete so so this is offline it, it kind of takes one to maybe three minutes that your garage uh, uh, mine is uh, just do that and the, the, you, as you see this is the continuously constantly um, um, uh, light so it shows that the, everything is okay uh, uh, your uh, garage door opener installed and you can work on it. As you see, the, this is the LED three, that this is a relay LED that uh, for connection of the, these two wires has to connect it to uh, terminal for uh, garage door opener switch. As you see. The second LED, the LED three, LED two has to be off. When I do it like that, it's going to self locking, but we need the inching, so has to be off. Another thing that you can share this device, you don't need to buy another remote. By downloading the app on another cell phone or computer, you can easily add another remote to your household. We can also remotely add, uh, uh, modify, delete, or uh, enable uh, each additional remote and their authorization. For example, it, uh, here it shows that you put United States, enter account, the person that opened the account with EW link, uh, it has to be email address, and then uh, this is a uh, you you can enable or uh, authorization for any authorization and then uh, send OK. I cancel it because I don't want to share something. And uh, another that you can uh, do that uh, it's a timer. There is a timer you can add timer for um, anytime. Open it and anytime close it if you need uh, do, to do that. 
and it has a professional timer and uh, it's it has eight times a set schedule countdown loop timer to turn your connected device on off or open close at SBC the internet is uh, is not connected to the device anymore another thing that you can uh, know uh, about it uh, it is that uh, the security of this uh, device so each device has a main user who can share the device with uh, other people um, other users cannot add device uh, that have already been registered by a main user so this is the important that er every time you can delete or add any uh, person for sharing this device and you can uh, add the unlimited remote for this device uh, you, you need to know that uh, there is an update always and you have to uh, update your firmware it helps voice control it by uh, Amazon uh, Echo, Echo Dot, um, Amazon Tab or Google Nest, Google Assistant or Amazon Alexa. There is a history record when you are in the garage, door opener. There is a history uh, that shows that uh, who used this device and what time and when uh, uh, you, you use this, this device for opening or closing. It's you for your time.